Okay, so more practice with Hess's Law, we're combining these reactions in some way to try to make this thing up here because it's too expensive or dangerous or inconvenient for us to do. Now, before we dig into this, they say the oxidation of ammonia is shown in the unbalanced equation above. That's no good. This must be balanced before we go on any further. So let's get that sorted. Uh, the nitrogen looks okay, but the big concern is hydrogen. We have three on the left, two on the right, so that's going to be the stickiest part. If I double this to get six hydrogen, and triple this to get six hydrogen, now that's good. That means I have two nitrogen on the left-hand side, so I need two on the right. And now the oxygen. Two times two, there's four oxygens there, and then three there, so there's a total of seven oxygen on the right-hand side, which means I need seven on the left-hand side. So I'm going to put seven over two as my coefficient here. You could put 3.5 there also. There's nothing wrong with decimals in these. We, we tend to go fractional coefficients, and I'm actually not sure why. But uh, if you prefer to go decimal and say 3.5, no problem. So that's our balanced reaction. And now that we have that, we can start doing Hess's Law stuff. So we have these three reactions and numbered, so we can talk about them a little easier. And they each have corresponding delta H. And using them, we must build this thing. So uh, it starts with ammonia. And there must be two moles of ammonia on the left. So going through our list here, well, only the first reaction contains ammonia at all. So we're going to have to use two times reaction one. And so if we double everything in here, we get 2NH3, arrow. Double this, you get an entire nitrogen. Double this, you get three hydrogen. And double the delta H, you get 92.2 .2 kilojoules. So that takes care of one piece. Oxygen is not a good one to do next because there are two reactions that contain oxygen. I don't know if I should be using just this one or just this one or some combination of the two. There's almost almost an infinite number of ways you could rearrange these to get 7 over 2O2. So rather than guess, let's skip over that and hope we can find another chemical where there isn't so much choice. Like this one. Nitrogen dioxide. We must have two moles of it on the right. Here's the only reaction that can offer us nitrogen dioxide, so we must have reaction 2, and we must double it to get our 2 moles of NO2. So 2 times reaction 2 will give us double this, you get 1 mole of nitrogen, double this, 2 moles of oxygen, arrow, 2 moles of nitrogen dioxide, and double this, that's 67.8. All right. So now we have our NO2 squared away. Finally, we need three moles of water. And happily, there's only one reaction that contains water, and it's the only one we haven't touched yet. If we triple this reaction, three times reaction three, that'll take care of the water. And then after that, we'll pretty much just cross our fingers that the oxygen comes out the way we need it to. Triple this, we get three hydrogen. Triple this, 3 times a half is 1 and a half, or 3 over 2, or 1.5. I'll go 1.5, decimals are good. 1.5 oxygen. On the right, we get 3 water. And if we've tripled this whole reaction, then we triple its delta H, so we get minus 726 kilojoules. Now we add all that up, and See see if we did a good job. Two ammonia, good. We're supposed to have that. Actually, before we start totaling things up, is there anything that will cancel here? Say yes. There's a nitrogen and a nitrogen. Those could go. We have three hydrogen and three hydrogen. Those could go. And 
this isn't a cancel, but we can combine all our oxygens. We have two oxygens here, and then another one and a half oxygens, so a total of three and a half oxygens. So on the left side we get 3.5 oxygen, and on the right we get two nitrogen dioxide, and three water, and the big finish, what's our delta H? We must add all these up. 92.2 plus 67.8. Uh, you can say plus negative, or I, I'm just going to subtract 726. It comes out the same way. Minus 566 kilojoules. So that's our delta H.